Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are tuning in today. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'm going to be talking today about uh, the second stage or level of what's known as Vu breathing. Vu breathing, uh, a practice designed by uh, the great Dr. Peter Levine. I was looking for an adjective. I, I couldn't quite come up with one very quickly there, but really um, a very, very profound uh, teacher, and healer, created what's known as the somatic experiencing uh, practices lineage. And this is called Vu Growl. And if you haven't, by the way, if you haven't seen the first video of the Vu breathing, um, please do go watch that first. Um, there's some information on there that pertains to this practice as well. And they're really designed to be done um, as part one and part two. After you've had some experience with both of the practices, you don't need to practice them in that way. But when you're first starting out with Vu breathing, it's helpful to do maybe you know, 10 or 12 Vu breaths and then 10 or 12 Vu with the growl. And if you have been doing Vu breathing for a while um, and you're not getting the uh, lightheadedness or anything like that, you're feeling um, pretty much the same as when you started to when you end, um, please do more than 10. Go back and, and play the tape again, if you wish, like that. So Vu with the Growl is a des was designed to help us connect to our healthy aggression. And this can be quite helpful because many, many people have been brought up to feel that aggression is wrong or bad somehow. And it's ironic because it's that those messages that we receive from our upbringing and education and culture and society and whatever, uh, it's those messages that turn the aggression into something more poisonous, like unhealthy anger, or rage, or anxiety, or depression. And so we can use a practice like this one to, uh, well, first, uh, it can help us to transform the unhealthy aggressions to more healthy forms of aggression. And it can also, um, you know, uh, help us start to see through those messages that we've um, that we've uh, taken on from our upbringing and so forth. Like that. And so aggression really means the ability to just reach out and grab something. Right, that's healthy aggression. Right, I use healthy aggression when I go pick up the book off the bookshelf that I've been wanting to read for a while and take it down and read a few pages. I use healthy aggression when I open the computer to make this video. Right? It's any movement forward in, a, in, a, in, a, in an assertive way. That's our healthy aggression. And so Vu with the growl, it starts in the same way as the Vu breath. So we breathe in starting with the abdomen and then the upper torso and then we breathe out we make the voo sound sustained and then we add the, a growl and the imagery that i come up with in my mind and peter levine talks about this a bit too uh is to either you know biting into an apple ah oh, right we just take that bite out of life Right? Or I, I like, I, I love Italian subs, right? So, you know, biting into a, my favorite Italian sub, oh, right? Like that. So it's that kind of movement in the jaws and the mouth, like that. And so I'll go ahead and model one, and then we'll do 10 together, like that. Okay. So here's the, the sample. The breathing in, filling the abdomen, the upper torso. Ooh. 
So we just kind of let it fall out, right? And there's no amount of growls that you're supposed to do. And my breath is quite long. I've been doing a lot of breathing and breath work for many, many years. So I, I do have quite a long breath. If your breathing isn't matching mine, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Please go at your own pace. And the idea is to just let the growl kind of fall out. You know, I know I'm making this motion with my jaw, like, wow, wow. And there's some tension there, obviously. But the idea is to, to try to do it as relaxed as possible, yet still getting the, um, the visceral, uh, animalist kind of quality to it. Is that a word? Animalist? No, probably not. But then, the, yeah, the, the uh, ferocity, the ferocity of it like that because we are connecting to our 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 um, animal instincts right when we do this practice so. okay let's do 10 together and we start on the in breath breathing in filling the abdomen the upper torso the other vu breath please feel free to place your hand wherever you're feeling the vibration okay so here's number two breathing in feeling the abdomen the upper torso Breathing in, feeling the abdomen, the upper torso. Number four, breathing in, feeling the abdomen, the upper torso. Upper torso. Number six, breathing in, filling the abdomen, upper torso. Seven, breathing in, filling the abdomen, upper torso. Number nine, breathing in, filling the abdomen, upper torso. Last one, breathing in, filling the abdomen, 
upper torso. We end with the in-breath. So breathing in, filling the abdomen, the upper torso, and relax. And while we're here relaxing and resting back into the present moment, taking some moments here to scan the body, noticing any areas that feel relaxed, any areas that feel tense, maybe some tingling at the surface of the skin. Maybe there's some images that are arising in the mind's eye, just noticing what's there. And when you're ready, you can start to look around the room and just taking in all of the colors, the shadows, the light, whatever's in front of you, the objects. And so if you are feeling after well, at any time during the practice, if you start to feel dizzy or, or an abundance of lightheadedness, um, you can stop the practice. That's a good place to stop. That's where you might say our working edge is. And so the next time you practice, you would do Vu Growl up until you feel that edge. Maybe just stay there two or three more times and then stop like that. Or maybe just one more time and then stop, however you feel. The idea is we never want to go um, too far into the discomfort with these practices like that, just to work that edge. After Vu breathing, it can be helpful to do what's called havening, if you like, and just kind of comforting ourselves in this way, or you can squeeze the arms as you go down. Also, bilateral tapping can be really helpful while doing the Vu Growl. And so you just kind of tap on the shoulders. Some people like to do the collarbone, they call it butterfly tapping, like that. I like the shoulders, but whatever works for you. And maybe I'll just do five of these if you want to do, do it this way. This is a bit more powerful, There's a lot more um, capability to heal. So as you notice, as I'm talking, I'm doing the bilateral tapping. And so you may just want to do that for a minute or two. And then when you're ready, breathing in, filling the abdomen the upper torso, and then breathing in, filling the abdomen, torso, Number four, breathing in, filling the abdomen, upper torso. And number 
five, breathing in, filling the abdomen, upper torso. And again, ending on the in breath, breathing in. And relax. And I'm just going to keep the tapping going for another moment or so as a way of integrating what arose for me during that practice. And again, there may be images, perhaps colors or shapes that arise or actual memories can come up. sensations in the body, whatever is there for you. And then just finishing, doing a little bit of havening. So I hope you found that helpful. I will be back sometime perhaps, uh, I don't know, I'll be back soon to do uh, the third uh, Vu breathing practice with you all. So I'll close the bell. Oh, <laughs> I'll say it again. I'll ring the bell uh, to close out our session.